And I've never been in a moment so intense my entire life. You saw at one moment people in the front trying to run back because they were afraid. And at the same time, you saw people from the back moving forward to get those who were injured. In that moment, in that chaos, I realized something. There was no reason for the police to be here other than to instill fear and to incite chaos amongst the peaceful protesters. Yes. Does anyone else want to share a story or an experience? Does anyone else want to come speak? Neha! Okay, um, it was actually right next to this area, right before they um, fired the shots. I was standing like right next to the, the front line and they fired the shots and I kind of like turned around to get out of the way. And I just turned around and I saw this guy just fall to the ground because he got shot like four times, um, four times in the legs and he like, couldn't move and he was in so much pain and there was like a bunch of people gathered around him and we had to physically like pick him up. Like I held his legs. I went to pick him up and move him out of the way because he like couldn't move, he couldn't say anything but like that he was in so much pain and it was like probably one of the most horrifying experiences of my life. Um, yeah, that was my experience. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Is everyone more? Anybody else? Yeah. Yeah. Just talking to it. Hey everybody, I'm from uh, Occupy Los Angeles. I was here Woo! on January 19th. And I just want to talk a little about the insidious nature of the mainstream media and just the institutions we're facing. Um, when three of my friends got hit by uh, rubber paint bullets, one of the first questions they asked was, are you a student here? Because they were trying to paint that divisive picture. The answer was no, but they one, one day hope to be students here because we, we are fighting for free education. Uh, we have to constantly battle that narrative because they're constantly trying to divide us. So I just wanted to talk a little about solidarity here. We have someone else on stack. Okay, we're gonna head down to the police station and open the mic up back down there. But just to remind everyone, if you pay taxes in California, you have a stake in the UC. So if they try to they try to make it seem like you don't have a stake in what's going on at the UC. Oh, that's bullshit.